Hey guys, okay, um, so I'm making this video because a bunch of people have asked me how we got signed and what the story is, so I'm going to tell you the story. So we are signed to a record label in LA called Blue Lawn Records, and the story behind it is kind of interesting. Basically, what happened is my husband and I are a band called Rowan Yellowthorn and I do the singing and the songwriting and he does the drumming. So I had a bunch of songs that I wanted to record into an album and we didn't really have the money to get like a bigger producer. A couple were in were interested but we they were like forty thousand dollars for an album and it's just like nobody has that much money. So Sean volunteered to produce it. And I was like, no, I didn't want him to do it because he had never done it before. He'd never produced any music. And I was like, these are my songs that I wrote with my blood and I don't want you to mess them up. But he was very confident that he'd be able to do it. He's edited a lot of film and he's really like, he's a musician also. So he, he figured that he could just like figure out how to do it. And basically, he did it. So he did an amazing job. He spent like almost six months on the album. And he taught himself how to use final, what's it called? Pro Tools. And then um, since he was doing it, it meant that like I could have a lot of creative control because he was just in the house editing our music every single day. And I could be like, hey, uh, I want to change this. I want to change this. And we went through like 500 rounds of changes for every song. And he played all the instruments. Okay, let me start again. When we were ready to make the album, um, we made scratch tracks of every album in our house by ourselves. So he recorded my voice and then made rough versions of each instrument. He played each instrument on his own here in our living room. And then we took those files with us to a recording studio in upstate New York and like replicated those with better instruments in a professional setting. So we knew exactly what to do and it was like very quick. We spent two days on the I think we spent two days on the instruments and three days on the vocals, but it might have been three days on the instruments and two days on the vocals. Um, but my vocals, the harmonies, some of them were planned out and a lot of them were just like on the spot, kind of like based on how I was feeling and Sean's suggestion and stuff like that. So we recorded all of the tracks professionally and then we took all of those tracks back with us to our house. And that's when the mixing started and Sean mixed all of the tracks and I helped, but um, he did it and I gave my input about what should be louder, what should be quieter. Like he did a bunch of tricks to them that I don't really know what he did, but like panning things and putting effects on things and stuff like that. So then when we were done making the album, it took like six months basically for us to do it completely ourselves except for the recording in the studios. After that I took it upon myself to get signed to a record label and um, that was my goal and I am usually pretty lazy about stuff but with this I was very determined to make it happen because it's like the thing I care about the most basically and so I submitted our music to everybody I knew and everybody I didn't know and I just found record labels that I liked and I found contact information and I wrote probably like a hundred emails to people over a month. And one of the first people who got back to us was Kirk Passage from Blue Lawn Records and he sent me a really nice email saying that he loved the album and at this point only like one other person had even heard the album so it felt really good 
that a music person who knew what he was talking about liked it. That definitely gave me some confidence. Uh, so he basically said that he really loved the album and their roster was like pretty full, but he was going to keep it in mind and circulate it around the office and like we would stay in touch. So over the next few weeks, I kept submitting it to more people and I kept Kirk up to date on like the album artwork that we were doing and the progress of like the whole package because we worked with some friends to design the album cover and all that stuff. And basically, eventually, he said that he wanted us to come to LA. And I was like very excited. Also, I had recently gotten over a, a fright of flying, a fear of flying. And so I was like, okay, I'm ready to do this. We can do this. Um, and I asked him if we could talk on the phone. And we talked on the phone, and he basically said that he wanted to sign us to his label. And I was, I like didn't tell anybody, and I tried to not think about it because I didn't want to get disappointed. So I kind of like, told myself that it wasn't real and it wasn't really going to happen and I would just go along with it and see. So we ended up finding a date to come to LA and they flew us out and we got there and we got an Uber to this hotel that they had gotten for us and then the next morning, yeah, the next morning we met with Kirk and someone else from the label, Michaela. And we had dinner with them. And like at the beginning of the dinner, they told us, like, just so you know, we want to sign you guys. And Sean and I like high fived across the table and we were really excited. And we had an amazing time in LA. We spent two days there. We met a bunch of people. We went to the offices at the label and then we came back. And a few days later, they sent us the contract and it was like a very artist friendly contract. It was, I, we sent it to a friend of ours who is a entertainment lawyer and he was like, I can't believe this is real, this is great. And we were like, yeah, I can't believe either. And uh, we signed it, sent it back. And then that was six months ago. And since then our album has been released and the people from Blue Alarm Records are like family, basically. I love them so much and they've, they really believe in us and that's been the best part of this whole thing is to have somebody who believes in you and a whole team of people who just like want you to be happy and succeed. So yeah, this is where we are and um, that's the story of how we got signed.